welcome back to another video so if you watched the last one you will know that we touched on molly girl lightly and the tragedy pimps hitting tennessee now it's a bit different today it's going to be a bit quicker hopefully because i'm watching the clock and guess who's joining us where are you cleo cleo you're going to say hello cleo what have you seen come here what's this come here come here Cleo's here. <laughs> Cleo's here, the best dog in the world. The best dog in the world. Cleo, you should be in the front. You go, go shotgun, riding shotgun at all times. You, okay? You're gonna have to be able to do this video. You can't see her. She's whipping up her right fucking frenzy. <laughs> it's like you've never been in the car before. What are you doing? Look at all of the windows. You need to look at the camera. Look, you hate the camera, don't you? Look, 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 look. look. <gasps> She's there. Mm. I love that dog. Anyway, right. Back to. I'm sitting on my knee. I'm looking out this window. I wish you'd look at the camera because you are so pretty. You are so pretty. Stay there and stop trying to hide from the camera. Mmm. Cutie. Best dog in the world. Legend. Right? Legend. What are we doing? You're helping mummy! Aren't you? You're helping mummy. You came to help mummy. Didn't you? Sitting down nicely. Right. So, oh god, I forgot my other phone. Because I have some timestamps, okay? Uh, of this fucking fuckery that I've just witnessed in the last 24 hours. Right, where are they though? Right, so. Oh, Savage covered it. Um, oh, right. They found bones. God, I can't, that, hello, you're blocking my view, right? They found bones. Well, this, can you keep your head that way? Look out the window. Look out the window, right? Who's that? They, so this girl, Ziggy, has gone to Tennessee with her kid, right? And this guy that knows Don has um, uh, called her up and said, I oh, found some bones, right? What the fuck? What are you ringing her for? What are you ringing her for? Get the bloody FBI, the CIA and the bloody TBI out there. What, what the bloody hell are you ringing Ziggy for? Ignore what he's shouting, right? So he takes her to this site where these bones are. And of course, um, they report it in. <laughs> I'm telling you now, I swear, they're animal bones. But the point of the matter is, mind your little face. The point of the matter is, they're airing all this on YouTube and what, so is that what you would have done if they were Summer's Bones? Like kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? If they'd have made a discovery of um, a human being uh, and, and they're there. Uh, oh, we've found bones. Oh, come and look, look at this, look at this. And, and they're filming it and uploading it to freaking YouTube or, or streaming it live, whichever one they did. Right. Anyway, so that happens, and then yesterday, Tiffany Marie goes live to call Ziggy out for what she did with the bones about Summer. But then she's showing the bones on the screen, right? There, she has three brothers that will be looking on the internet. I know, I know. She has three brothers that will be looking on the internet as they get older or come of age, and what awaits them? I think this video is going to be a failure. I think I'm going to have to redo it because I think you might be spoiling it a little bit. You don't mean to though, do you? So, I forgot where I want to. Oh yeah, so her brothers could find all these videos that they're making about their sister all over, right? Possible discovery of Summer Wells, bones found. I mean, come on, how gross is that? How gross is that? Just call the police and shut the fuck up. This, this is the thing with them. The same with Tiffany Marie, though. She, she's, she's going on in a live. This isn't drama. This isn't drama. This isn't drama. You think this is drama? Yeah, bitch. That is drama. 
if you're being loud and over the top and dramatic and making a fuss about something and you require two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred people to come and observe you going nuts about what you're going nuts about, you fucking drama. End of story, right? How about you went and left a comment under her video or you contacted her via Discord or you sent her an email and said, yeah, what's up with this? How could you do this? What if it was summer and not animal bones or whatever they are, right? Never mind, not to mention wasting police time because the guy, I think, I think the guy did it as a hoax, right? And even Don Wells has allegedly said through the grapevine, um, he played a... Um, well, it doesn't take a genius... It doesn't mean that Don knows or was involved in her being played because it doesn't take a genius to know that if some guy calls you up, right, and says to you, oh, I found some bones, uh, does it really take a genius to work out that this is a hoax? Because why hasn't he gone to the police or the TBI? What the fuck, right? So now Don's half getting blamed because these idiots are fucking around on the internet well, so what if he knew? Why would he give two shits about whoever's playing a hoax with any of them lot? They're sick, right? He, as far as I understand, yeah, he'll bloody talk to him, but he's not bloody stupid. He knows what they're about. They're about coin, uh, money, the green. That's all the, that's all they care about. Um, what was the next thing on this list? This is a mess today. Cleo, you can't come again because you're knocking my concentration. Oh, right, so Sarah... Um, uploaded a video and it's a freaking molly taking the mickey out of um robin right what is up with these people right if any do you any of you really believe that this is normal human behavior the extremes the histrionics the dramatics the cruelty right the lack of care or empathy toward other people the having to humiliate taunt mimic and mock you really think that's normal human behavior it's all narcissistic behavior normal people do not behave like this tiffany marie required what five six hundred people surrounding her while she called out this uh, incident with the bones right and then has the nerve to say it's not drama yeah it's drama all right, you're making it drama. You could have gone behind the scenes and emailed that girl. You could have called her up. You apparently know her. Whatever. You didn't need to go live. This is the thing with these lot, right? Whenever there's an issue, they have to go live about it instead of confronting it. Drama queens. All right, drama queens. So where is this bloody video? Right, we'll go with the um, the Tiffany and the Ziggy one. It's sick. Let me just turn it up. Ziggy, I swear to God, don't show anything else other than what you've already shown. We don't need to see the video. This is Why Tiffany. don't you just hand that video over to the cops and TBI? Please don't share anything else. Okay? I think this is enough. There you go. So if you guys are sensitive, um, click out of here and come back in a little bit because she's really going to show bones. Um, I don't want anybody to get triggered or stormy. It's not very it's often that I that. catch a comment that I don't like because I very rarely look down at my phone. Um, I'm sharing it because Summer deserves a voice. Summer deserves Come somebody money. to defend her. Okay. I'm sharing it not for... This isn't drama. This, look like <laughs> this drama isn't here. drama. Is this not like drama? drama? Is this not drama? This isn't drama. This isn't drama. Okay, there you go. Going live about some bones. Guy, you don't know if they... The little babies. Thank you, Scotty. Let me see what you said here. Weirdos. Fucking weirdos. For those who think it's a hoax, hold on. I just want to say my call to the freaking police. And she has no... She has no intelligence to wonder, am I being led up the garden path here? Am I? Could this be a joke? I don't know this man from Adam, okay? But no. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to take no precautions, keep no boundaries, and I'm just going to go along, along for the ride and investigate these bones, film it, right? Maybe not purposely suggest they may be summer, but if you are hinting at there may be remains, what are people going to think when you're in Tennessee, Knoxville or Rogersville, whatever this is all taking place? Insanity. Absolute insanity. And the money that these lot are raking in is sickening, right? It'll be enough to pay your bloody mortgage off. Gross. Uh, like, um, Hill Road where, uh, okay. Okay, hold on, let me, 
Wasting police time on bullshit. I forgot I stayed on, this, on the same recording because I just called. That's what they're doing. So for the simpletons in the chat who are saying, oh, it's just a deer, or it's this animal, or she contacted the TBI, it's not you're Yasmin. not getting it. It's not Yasmin. If this is Summer, which I, like I said, pray about it's not. It. We don't know. We're not anthropologists. We're not, uh, we're not law enforcement. We are not the TBI. Okay? So we don't know. Here. Stop freaking me out that you've seen something. What kind of bones they are. Insanity. There's literally no, absolutely no consideration for human life at all here. No, there um, isn't. No, there this isn't. Is summer. They have you learned it parents channel, and because summer let me pause her. They have parents and siblings, right? Regardless of what you think about them, regardless of what you think about them, they have siblings and parents, right? And other people that knew them, I don't know, right? I don't know, you know, people in the neighbourhood that you used to see or whatever. It's just so sad. Absolutely so sad. I'm going to the next one. This bit fucking depresses me. I can't with them bones. Okay, why even put it on a live? You knew you were being... This guy, whoever he is, come on! Right, if some guy just rang me up and said, Hey, oh, Sonia, um, I've discovered some bones. Right? Come and meet me at 7 o'clock at night and we'll check them out. I'd be like, the fuck are you? What? I'd be thinking he's a serial killer trying to get me on my own. I'd be telling him to ring him into the police or piss off. Don't, don't be winding me up with human remains. I mean, what? how much lower can this get? So, next video. She's seen her sister, that's why she's getting excited. She's not upset. We'll get out in a minute and we'll go see her. Summer Wells. You I'm wanted to, to come with name. me. I'm allowed to say her name. No, you're not. Shut up. I'll ban you from saying Why her can't name. I? Because you're a tosser. You stand to face charges over the complaint you're mean. filed by Donald Wells. No. Uh, we, all right. I, I didn't even know a complaint was filed. So anyway, yeah, I don't believe that your daughter is summer wells it's just the mocking and the taunting i don't believe that your daughter you can hear it within the tone that's how she used to do it with shinan uh rusek right even when she went on ad's panel what six months ago when she was doing it again hi guys hi guys and absolutely ripping into shinan on um ad's panel recently right this isn't like the old one this is recently within the last six months and she's at it, she, there's something in it with her that she has to grandstand over people she perceives as a threat, I believe, okay? I believe. I think that's why she does it. Certain people, she will make a point to assert her authority or her believed superiority over other people right i think that's what she does and all this slighting and taunting and mocking and the way like the um childish immature way she says the name i mean it's all reminiscent of narcissistic behavior because they have arrested development they can't critique other adults in a mature way they always have to get like children oh your hair's a mess oh look at your face oh look what kind of clothes you wear oh i bet you don't own a house like mine i bet you don't drive i bet you don't own your car about it's all about um your credit score what's in your wallet what's in your house um how wealthy you are where where, where did you last go on holiday shit like that all materialistic superficial shit she cannot critique anybody uh and the criticism has any fucking particular substance into putting somebody, uh, not necessarily down, but she can't critique somebody in a mature way. It always has to get personal with her. It always has to get mean. She always has to be nasty. And she always has to make a point of letting people know that she is above the person she's critiquing. She feels, I suspect, slightly inferior next to Robin, which is strange. Carry on. Don't make fun of Robin. It will not go over well. Nearly really? Did. Nearly did. Really? The, the chick's crying her eyes out? Thinking that where? Then let it not go 
overrate. Let her get an attorney. Let her go to the cops a couple more times. We talked about Robin and her little breakdown for literally 15 seconds. Okay, be good. All right. All right. We'll get you a treat when we go in. Fuck out yes. of here. We'll go over well. Oh, is that a threat? <laughs> Bring it. So next day, next day, Don says, "Oh, how dare you accuse innocent little girl of going into your purse?" What's wrong with him saying that? Why does that I get under his skin? Don's face. No, it said she went into my purse. Sorry for being a hater in the beginning. I'm going to be on my knee. Oh, Come my. on, then. Thank you, Kristen. Come on. But then I can't Robin see the camera. definitely overreacted. Why? Because she has dirt bags. Are you coming? Dirt bags. Like kitty kitty. Trying to freak her out. <laughs> You're not going on the floor. Don't put that false report about Robin daughter i would be getting a turn against that news station no i'm not gonna do that i'm talking to that news station why would i do that she's talking to that news station you Robbie, fool. That... thank you jackie if i could give you a present right now and a hug let's go this ain't even about robin but remember robin is up on that hill partying with the junkies all right how does she not know that she's not up there to support Candice or she's helping Candice clean and sort things out and get things straight. Because if the children are with CPS, which they are, right? Cleo, pick a side, left or right. If the children are with CPS, usually there is a plan of care, okay? So you would assume that um, they've been set certain tasks that they have to fulfill in order to get the children back, right? And I would assume with the pictures of the house and the things that the work that we've seen Don do inside, that that is where they're kind of going, possibly, right? Sorting out the house in order to get the children back. And they've got, you know, other tasks to... Con so how do they know? Like, you, they, they clearly need support. They're dysfunctional. They clearly need support of some kind from somebody, right? Not just support with a social worker coming around every week or every two weeks. They need profound support. So why would it be strange that Robin's up there? She could be supporting Candice, talking to her, helping her. I mean, we've heard snippets of Candice and her honest thoughts when she was on Alicia's panel and she didn't sound in a good way at all. She sounded like lonely. She has nobody to trust, nobody to talk to. She's in this hell hole, right? And we're all looking at her like she's guilty. And she could be innocent, right? Uh, Summer could have wandered off. And how Don reports he returned to the home when he says, I came home and the boys were there searching or whatever it was, right? Um, it does fall into the theory that they had suddenly noticed that Summer wasn't around. Uh, I keep hearing um, Glow Home Betty mention that Candice left the property like a bat out of hell. Where was she going? Well, if she had the children searching the land and her mum, right, grandma searching or looking around calling her, it would make sense that someone got their ass down to the main road to see if that's where she's gone, right? That's where you would assume she would go. She's a kid, follow the path to the road. This is the way, you know, who knows? She might have been wandering back to try and get to the swimming hole, a favourite place, whatever, right? So Candy shooting out of the property like a bat out of hell uh, again supports the theory that they just suddenly realised that she that suddenly she just wasn't there. She'd gone, right? So she goes down to the main road, whatever she's doing, driving up and down because that's where she could have gone. Oh, for God's sake. They do me head in these like, They have no common sense. They explained that picture with Benny Key's grandma, Candice, and Dawn, and I don't think Dawn's in it actually, um, the cracking cases people, and Robin, they explained that picture that 
a lot of people have been going up to the property to try and help, right? And they said that when Summer comes home, if Summer comes home, they wanted to see evidence of all the people that tried to help or that came up and that cared, right? Apparently that's what that photograph is. So all these fuckers that just keep jumping to these negative conclusions, right? And drawing these horrendous correlations, right? Fucking hell. Right? Can you actually imagine these Muppets on a, in charge of a real investigation? They are insane. If you listen to how they make, tie, like, connect dots together, they don't um, follow the evidence. They make the evidence up as they go. That is what they do. That's what makes them dangerous. Cam and Allie are in the picture. Kitty, kitty. Aunt Felon. Grandma. And they're just smiling away. I look at the huge smile on Kansas' face. Don, what did you think of that picture? Were you like, man, I wish I was there hanging out. They look like they have a good time. Yeah, Robin's seen Summer's neglected teeth and is a dental hygienist. Wait, she's a dental hygienist. Oh my God, shut up, shut up. Here again with the dramatics and the over the top bullshit, right? Even if Robin is a dental hygienist and she noticed the state of Summer's teeth. We have been told or we were told and I'm sure it was factual, not rumour, that there had been a few caught. There was, there was somebody apparently that cared a lot for Summer. This is what we heard in the early days. That was making it, nearly done. That was making a point to visit Summer and they had called CPS a couple of times. And I don't know who that was, right? So that doesn't fall on Robin. That falls on the prior involvement of the CPS, okay? Stop trying to make Robin into the bad guy because you filmed a kid and she had a problem with it, right? I Look, right? If she gave permission for the church to stream her while she's in there with her child, right? She gave permission. That's one thing, okay? That doesn't mean that any Tom, Dick and Harry can come and sit next to her and record her while she doesn't know she's being recorded. There's a fucking difference. And you zeroed in on a kid like a predator would, right? There's a fucking difference. I don't give a fuck what you're meant to do, what you were trying to get. And then the lie you came out with that the kid was trying to get in your purse, right? That's all this is. You're trying to diminish Robin. That's what it is. Now I figured it out. That's why there's all this grandstanding, posturing and trying to push her down, ridicule her, mimic her, mock her, make out that she's stupid. She's an idiot. She means nothing, right? Because you know you were out of order underneath all of this bullshit, okay? If I was sat next to you on a bus, right, somewhere, and I'm secretly recording your kid, you're telling, and then I go and put it on the internet, you're telling me you won't have a problem with that. Well, we're on a fucking bus, aren't we? So what? It's a public place, right? Constitution, amendment, whatever, right? You're saying you'd be okay with that, really, okay? That's what you did right? And she is allowed, okay, to have a problem with what you did, right? And you, right, if you had any humility whatsoever, you'd be like, Do you know what? I fucked up. I got carried away. I was too excited. I didn't realise how this would look and I did the wrong thing. That's all you have to say, but you can't say that. Instead, you have to try and annihilate Robin and make her out to be you know, like you're embarrassing her in front of, in front of like what nearly two k people. Well, I hope it makes you feel better because the high you're on is the same high that Negs was on, the same high that Katie was on, the same high that Critical K was on. Narcissists believing they're invincible as fuck, they can do what they want with no recourse. Right? Nothing can happen to them. They're going to carry on on this high, speaking to people the way they do. Right? treating people the way they do uh, and you're about to take a nose dive and i'm here for all of it i'm watching all of it you're disgusting no i never knew that you want to know why because i don't care about robin i think she's a moron she's a moron not nice this is what i'm saying 
This season is about her. And you want to know something? I'm going to hold you responsible. Just like I'm holding Allie responsible. I like Allie. I do. Hear something, say something. The woman... Everybody else is responsible for for things except her. She's not even. She takes no responsibility for her own self. She has no self responsibility. Whatever she does, there's a reason, an excuse, a justification, a defence for it, right? But everybody else, everybody else, uh, needs to watch what they're doing. Okay, that's Molly for you. That's Molly. Who am I watching? Huh? What am I doing watching this? That's what I want to know. Right, that's that over with. What is the next one? Do you know what? I might pause it here because I, I think you want to go in, don't you? Hey, you want to go and see your sister? Right, so um, I'm going to cut this off here. I shouldn't have brought her, but she wanted to come. And if I don't bring her, then I feel tired. But then I think, well, you won't want to be sat in the car, okay? Because then the kids are in the house and you want to be with them, right? Which is exactly what you did. You did what I knew you'd do, okay? Whimpering at me because you want to go back in the house. Right, well, we'll take you back in the house, okay? To get daylight and making a video, you want to go back in the house, we'll go back in the house. Dog rules, okay? Dog rules. Notebook, right? I will see you all soon. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I think it's going to be a mess when I watch it back. But um, I hope you're all well. Happy Friday. Have a fabulous weekend. I'm going to try and stay up to catch the Wendy V... Um, stream which is in about 10 hours from now about half two in the morning it's going to be uh hope to see you all there but if not until next time bye for now love lots <laughs>